Hello guys, hello guys in a very spontaneous hike. I had an appointment in Berlin and just decided to go to northern New Germany's highest mountains called Harz. Just here I am now. And yeah, I'm trying to cross the whole mountain range in two days. It was super spontaneous. I have just a small backpack with the most necessary things. And yeah, for today I think the hike won't be too long. I will. I need money and I need food. And then I can find a place to camp not too far from here. The mountain just started here. Time for a dinner. Here we go now. I ate my delicious dinner, which was huge. Now heading to the forest. Here we go. Entering the forest just now. I think I go to climb one of these hills to have a very nice view. There is some rocks and I could sleep somewhere there and tomorrow heading to this wild valley We are walking now through a part where many trees died some years ago and it gets very dense now with all these bushes and shrubs but that's really nice to see how nature comes back to these four these barren landscapes which have been before I think quite a lot of this I'm going to see because we had a huge disaster a few years ago that loads of spruce trees died dead spruce and the birches already taking over which is amazing just after a few years So here we already see the Brocken, the highest mountain in, in the Harz, which is just like, just like a thousand something meters, but we are so far north, the tree, the tree line is already there compared to the Alps, compared to the Alps, where the tree line is like one seven, one eight, depending which side. So yeah, we are, we are getting close to the North Pole here. And here we have one of the famous rock formations of huts. This must be the frog rock. Hoschfelsen. Wow. Looks really nice. Yep, I'm going to stay here. A bit more protected from the damp grass in the morning. Just woke up. <laughs> nothing to say. I really have nothing to say. We all have to say something to the camera, but what? <laughs> I just fucking woke up in this little cabin. And off we go for the first real hike. Yesterday was just like five kilometers. Now will be the whole day. Looks like there is a strange religion existing here. Or oh, we have dwarfs or elves or something. Oh, now it gets a bit dangerous.
So here we are now in this strange ghost forest with loads of dead trees. It really looks so so disturbing. But still already the new generation of trees are coming. So it's just a matter of time. In a few years this will look so different. I think I should come every year to see the changes. End of the world forest. <laughs> but that's it. The climate change gave a hard time to this spruce. Yeah, they died through this bug which basically eats their cambium so they die. And yeah, we had some very dry years. What happened? No. Broken. Just four kilometers. With the thousand, thousand meters. At least they are alive in this very high zone. The trees are alive. Well, most of them. Wherever Germans find the highest mountain, they love to build something on it and they also love to make a cable car or a trail ride, train track. Yeah, yeah, this thing just goes just to the top, but at least it's a steam train. It's really beautiful. I really like, hope I can see it on this trip. Maybe it passes a bit later. I want to see it. city in top of mountains so it's nice also to have a beer or something but I prefer more remote also now we have a nice road yeah you can basically drive here this part is very touristic loads of blueberries loads and also cranberries I have a delicious forest here tasty forest Thanks for us. So here we are in the old German border. This was the East, Communist East. I'm just about to enter the West. You also say this look like this before. Now walking through a swamp. But being distracted from these little friends. <laughs> Again. They built this fancy huge tower for the national park. I have no clue what it is for, so I'm going to ex experience, but for sure I have to, I have to pay. Everything is to pay like this. All of those channels, they are man-made. They are some hundreds of years old and they were used for the for the mining for the mining in this area because this was a huge mining area of course what they needed was water and wood so yeah this is actually a UNESCO World Heritage all of this system all of this system of channels which is called which is called Harzer Wasserregal this is the official German name of it. And yeah. 
really like to see what's inside <laughs> but it's locked unfortunately I think I got my hotel for tonight a cute little cabin just in the forest cute. I think I'm gonna stay here okay I got my camp done here we go now it's time to eat something so yep that's the end of this day Ugh. I'm tired it was like 35 kilometers or something I'm not sure but yeah that's it for today and good morning for the next day just left the camp and today I'm gonna make it out so it will be my last day I don't think many things are going to happen today it will be just some forest or what is left of the forest like these savannas and some lakes and that's it yep let's see maybe I find something nice mushrooms could be cool but I don't I doubt it's so dry I did not find any so yeah So I'm walking and I'm walking and it's a bit boring this part because all the trees are dead and it's just like a like a savanna. So almost done. Behind me is the village where I go to take the train and yeah I cross the hearts and it was a nice trip, it was a nice training trip for a lot lot bigger trip which I'm going to have in a few in a few months but still top secret so yeah that's it bye bye <laughs>